Hello, and welcome to Novobi's Odoo Accounting demo series. Novobi has completely overhauled the bank reconciliation process in Odoo to make it more intuitive. We've also added more functions to better support important tasks commonly done by U.S. accountants when performing reconciliation. In these videos, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step how to do bank reconciliation in Odoo. There are four main steps to bank reconciliation. One, put bank transactions into Odoo and set up bank rules. Two, review and apply transactions. Three, reconciliation. And four, post-reconciliation. Importing transactions is typically done one of three ways. The first way is configuring an online sync between your bank and Odoo. This is the easiest and most common method. The second way is downloading a file from your bank and importing it into Odoo. The third way is to manually add transactions from your bank statement one at a time. This is the least common and most difficult method, and we won't be demoing it as part of this series. So let's see how this works in Odoo. In the accounting app, I can see all the bank accounts I've set up for my company. I'll open the menu for the account and go to settings, where I can see details such as debit and credit accounts, bank feeds, and more. There are three main options for bank feeds. Record manually to add transactions one at a time, file import to upload the statement from my bank, or bank synchronization. If I choose bank synchronization, I can see a section below it called online synchronization, where I can configure the integration between Odoo and my financial institution. So I click configure. I don't currently have any banks saved in the system, so I click add a new bank to the system, input the bank name, and press enter. And here I can see whether Odoo supports my institution. I'll select the appropriate one, once I enter my credentials, Odoo will periodically synchronize with the bank and add the information as a statement. If I choose File Import as my bank feed, whenever I want to import the statement, I go to the dashboard, open the bank menu, and choose Import Statement. Odoo supports three formats, CSV, OFX, and QIF. I click Upload Your File, choose the file I want to upload, which in this case is a CSV, and click Import which takes us to the import screen. Here, we need to map the columns from our file to fields in Odoo. The first row is the heading of the column in the file. The second row is where I can choose which field in Odoo it should be mapped to. If a column name in my file matches a field in Odoo, then Odoo will suggest that field, like we have here for description and amount. Some columns I'll have to set manually, like post date. Some columns can be excluded from the import. Here, I'm going to exclude account number, since we are entering this for a specific account. Some statements will have separate debit and credit columns, but this statement just has one column for both. Odoo will recognize the sign of the number and separate them accordingly. One important thing to remember is that if we get a statement with separate debit and credit columns, a debit from the bank's perspective is a credit from the bookkeeper's perspective, so we need to switch the fields before we import. Finally. Once we've mapped our columns and verified the sample data on the screen, we can click Test Import. If we've mapped our columns properly and the data is good, we should get a message saying everything seems valid. Once we see that message, we can click Import. After I click Import, if I go to the dashboard, I can see nine items for review in the Wells Fargo account. Before I review those items, I want to show you how to set up a bank rule which is what Odoo's US Accounting app uses to match recurring transactions that haven't been input into the Odoo system. So I'll open the account menu and click Bank Rules. Click Create. First I enter a name for the rule. For this example, I'll use Samsung. Transaction type will be Receive Money. And add a filter under Condition. For this rule, I'll only look for records where the description contains Samsung. I can add as many conditions as I want, so I'll also specify that the amount should be greater than $5,000. I'll select the payee, Samsung US, and an account. If I want this transaction to go to multiple accounts, such as in the case of a loan repayment with principal and interest amounts, I can choose Split and Add Accounts. I can also choose whether to split based on percentage or a fixed amount. For this rule, I'll choose not to split the transactions, so I'll uncheck Split and click Save. So now I've put bank transactions into Odoo, and I've set up my bank rules. If I click on 9 items to review from the dashboard, I can see that Odoo has automatically assigned payee and account for transactions governed by a bank rule. 
From here, I can move to the next steps in the bank reconciliation process. On the review screen, I can see transactions and suggestions made by Odoo based on bank rules. For some transactions, under action type, we see match. This is because these transactions have already been posted in Odoo, so they won't need to be added. For transactions that fit a bank rule, Odoo automatically chooses the payee and account. For the remaining transactions, we need to manually enter that information. Here I have two transactions that don't appear to match a transaction in Odoo or fit a bank rule. I'll click on the first one to input the account and the payee. The second transaction, we actually do have a payee assigned, but we can't see the account. If I click on it, I can see that it's actually been split based on a rule, so as long as it's correct, I don't need to do anything else. Once I've confirmed every transaction has been linked to a payee and account, I can select all, and under the action menu, click Apply Selected. If I want to do a final review before reconciling, I can open the account menu from the dashboard and click Reviewed Items. Here I can see the transaction details and, if necessary, click Undo, which sends it back to the review screen from earlier. Having reviewed everything, I'm ready to move to step 3, Reconciliation. Back at the dashboard, I can click Reconcile in the Account section, which takes me to the Reconciliation screen. Here, I can click Edit Info to adjust ending balance and statement ending date. I can also see the statement ending date, beginning and ending balance, the cleared balance, and the difference between the ending balance and cleared balance. There's also the total amounts for cleared payments and cleared deposits. If needed, I can compare the transactions here with the bank statement again to make sure everything is correct. If everything is correct, we can reconcile. If anything is incorrect, I can uncheck it to exclude it from the reconciliation. If I uncheck a transaction, Odoo updates the cleared balance and the difference between the ending balance and cleared balance. By default, Odoo will remember the state of this screen if I navigate to another page. If I don't want Odoo to remember, for example, if I want to redo the transaction application, then I can click Close without saving. Once everything is complete and correct, I can click the Reconcile button. Ideally, the difference should be zero, but in this case, I have a difference of 34 cents. When I click Reconcile, Odoo will alert me. If a transaction is missing that will bring the difference to zero, I can click Go Back and make adjustments. For a small amount like this, I'm just going to put it into a discrepancy account. After selecting the account, I'll click Apply Adjustment and Finish. If the account I'm reconciling is a credit card account, I'll see an extra screen after this step, where I can record a payment, record a bill and pay it later, or do nothing and take care of it later. All other steps are the same. After I reconcile, Odoo shows me the reconciliation report, and I can start step 4, post-reconciliation. Here, I can review a summary of the balances, any adjustments, and cleared and uncleared transactions. Once I've reviewed everything, if I click Reconcile again for this account on the dashboard, I have the option to undo the last reconciliation and start over. To start a completely new reconciliation, I simply put a new ending balance and statement ending date. This concludes today's topic. Thank you for watching!